back, everybody. I believe it was Socrates who once said, when you make a mistake, why not make cake? <laughs> so when I accidentally bought two jars of pistachio cream, thinking it was pistachio pesto, that's precisely what I did. Take a look. I'm not, I'm stirring, I'm not folding, folding, folding. She's folding. Now the, I think th I'm this is not a this. criticism, but the big problem with this is, wouldn't it be nice if you had alternating layers of color when you cut into the cake? So that there was one little layer of cream, one little layer of pistachio, one little layer of crepe. But not the taste of the final Chris, product. this is so good. This is so good, I'm gonna have a bath in here. <laughs> it is so good. Somebody did comment earlier that it looks like a face mask that they've <laughs> worn. And I think I've seen you in a face mask of very similar color. <laughs> Simon. May I Sorry. present my pistachio cream cake, which all resulted from a mistake. And I have to say, I'm pretty pleased with it. Wow. It looks delicious. I haven't I'm tried so it all together, so please. Okay. Uh, dig in. Dive in. Okay, uh, before I dive in here, Jess, it looks like a gajillion layers. Do you know how many are in here? Mm. I think there are 22. The recipe Ooh. said it should be 20. But I think that was to account for people messing oh, up their mm, crepes. That is good. I just learned that I'm a really good crepe maker. Yeah. Did you make them in advance, Jess? Mm -hmm. I made 15 in advance, okay. and then I did the last uh, five or seven, rather, that's the math, uh, on the caftans in the kitchen, which was a great deal of stress, of course. How do you know wow. the crepe is done? How do you know the crepe is done? That's a great question. <laughs> Eyeballed it, and when mm. it started to brown around the edges, mm -hmm. that's okay. when I would flip it over. And you kind of just use your fingers. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Okay. It, did it turn it's out so okay? Good. I'm really too did. nervous to, mm -hmm. to bite into it. But Riley, yeah. as I bite into it, I feel like you're actually mm -hmm. able to give a very honest answer because you mm. might not be here for every half dance. <laughs> right, so right. it's just us. No pressure. What do you think? Is it perfect? You've really uh, appealed to my sensibilities with this cake. Chef. Really? Mm. Oh my god, absolutely. Gorgeous color. Um, mm -hmm. I love a crepe. Did you know Northern Ontario, uh, the homeland of Finnish people uh, in North America, love a, a thin pancake, a oh Finnish pancake. Oh my gosh. Mm. Um, I also think pistachio is a very rich nut. Mm -hmm. Like an almond and a peanut are nonsense. When I have a pistachio on something, <laughs> I'm like, who, you know, yeah. who am I? Wow, <laughs> I am it. not mad about this. This, this is so great. Good. It's really good. Man, so good. Sorry. I know All I right, should so, be more humble, but. All right, so Jess, <laughs> just kind of sad, because this is your last calf time of the year. Yep. Mm. I know you got a lot of suggestions from our audience um, so of what to make for the next year. So what can we look forward to in 2024? We got some really hilarious uh, suggestions. Hamburger soup, which is mm -hmm. fascinating. I'm going to look into that Never one. Never heard that before. Uh, Nanaimo bars, which Simon mm -hmm. yelled during that segment. He was like, those are my favorite. And I was like, mm -hmm. how am I learning? We've been together almost 20 years. I had no idea he, he liked, liked Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars. bars. So <laughs> Katyan's in the kitchen, bringing people together. Mm -hmm. But we got great suggestions. And of course, I love all the suggestions that um, is something that I can bring easily on a go train. <laughs> the next day and actually tastes better the next day. So like mm. something with fish, you know, that's going to be tricky to bring in the next day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or we could all be pooping our pants. Uh, from, <laughs> that could be kind of good TV maybe. You know what? I got uh, a hatch for that. Nope. <laughs> I got a hatch for Just that. Just Alan, <laughs> uh, we can't wait to see what you're going to be whipping up because we get to eat the next day mm -hmm. and taste all of the magic. Mm -hmm. uh, a big shout out to Simon who is always oh your best gosh. supporting actor yeah, no. in all of that, so Simon. Um, and so Looking forward to the caftans in the kitchen in 2024. Thank you. So Thank exciting. You. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.